everybody, Iron Head Josh coming to you from Fort Wayne Harley Davidson again today. Um, we're just gonna show you something here today that we've touched on in the past, and that is belt deflection. We've talked about it before, how important it is to keep your belt tight and tensioned every 5,000 miles. Uh, today, I have the opportunity to show you what happens when you do not. Um, you look at this belt on this 2012 touring model here is completely stripped out. It's lost all its teeth. So it would still drive, but it was making a horrible grinding sound and it wouldn't go very fast. But here's one of the big no-nos we see with people. We see this axle adjuster here, they, they made a dot. So when they changed their rear tire, they just put it back to where it was. And that is something that as I explained in the past that you don't want to do. Um, that will not get your belt back to the proper tension because they do stretch out and they do need tightened up. Eventually over time, Maybe after 100 or 200,000 miles, a belt would need replaced, but most likely, if you keep your belt tensioned properly, um, this is something you probably never have to do. Um, this is an expensive fix. This is about $700 in parts and about $900 in labor to do this. Um, I'm about halfway torn down here on this, and uh, as I get it torn all the way apart and back together, we'll show you a couple more clips of what it all looks like in the final product. But we just kind of wanted to give you guys the inside of uh, what happens to a belt when you don't keep it maintained properly. So that's all for now, and we'll catch back up to you in a little while. All right, uh, we're back, and we are on the next phase of our belt drive replacement. So we have the belt off, and you can see the whole thing is completely stripped out. And show you guys kind of what it takes here. You got to get the whole swing arm off this motorcycle for that belt to come off, which is why it takes such a long time. Getting the pivot shaft out and the rear uh, motor mounts off. The way this works is our drive line is bolted to the frame right here. So right now we have this strap. This is what's holding this up. So right now we've got the motorcycle supported and the drivetrain supported by the motorcycle which is one of the things that makes this job so difficult and why it takes such a long time. Uh, just a little insight for you guys there. Um, but as you can see, we got even some debris way up in here. Some, some of the chunks to the belt they are laying up here. And uh, we were able to leave most of this together, but as you can see, getting everything out of there is a little bit of a pain in the butt. So again, belt drive deflection really important keep that tight make sure you do it every time you change your oil it will last as long as you motor as long as you own your motorcycle I guarantee it so we'll show you the next phase as we're going back together and the final steps here coming up uh, shortly okay. hey so we're back on the third phase of our belt replacement. I've got the new belt back on. Um, everything's bolted back up and tightened down. Um, here in the manual, I just had Toby show you guys is the proper uh, procedure when you check your belt. This motorcycle requires either with the wheel upright and off the ground or on the jiffy stand with no rider or luggage. Some motorcycles require the rider on the motorcycle uh, some require wheel in the air, some just require it on the ground. It's, they're all different. It changed throughout the years. So check your service manual and it'll tell you the proper deflection. This particular bike is getting 3 8 to 9 16 deflection at 10 pounds of force. I measured 10 pounds of force with this belt deflection gauge. There's a little line on there. When I push it up and my O-ring hits that line, that's 10 pounds of force. And by comparing that with my little ruler here, which if you look real closely, all these are eighth of an inch graduations. So it's pretty easy for me to just know where I'm going because most of our deflections go within the 16th to an eighth. I'm sorry, these are 16th inch graduations, not uh, eighth inch. Technically they're 64th, but I'm not gonna get that fine on you. So what I do, is I hold my, my ruler here and I'll hold my deflection gauge with no pressure and I'm gonna get this lined up so I can just see the very bottom of my gauge on my ruler 
And as I press this up and get to 10 pounds, it reaches just at 3 8 of an inch. So that's all the belt deflection I need. That's pretty tight, as you can see, compared to what it was when I take, took this thing off. Um, but that's, that's what you're supposed to be. With this new belt, you can also see where the marks were with the old belt and where it is now. So there's still a lot of room for adjustment here. Um, I think I mentioned earlier that eventually over a couple hundred thousand miles, these belts can wear out and stretch, but let's face it, most of us aren't gonna put that many, motor, many miles on their motorcycles um, in our lifetimes. Probably trade it in and get a new one or do something different. So, you know, most of the time, you're not gonna wear a belt out. I've seen maybe two in uh, my whole career and my whole life being around these motorcycles of a belt actually having to be replaced. Um, so there'll be one more phase left and that's bolting the primary back together uh, and then taking it for a test ride. So uh, when I get all that bolted back together, we'll do uh, one more segment here of the whole thing bolted back together and riding out the door for you. But that, that's pretty much it right there. It's showing you guys what it takes to do one of these. Like I said, it's, it's a big job. There's a lot of work here. And uh, I hope that uh, as customers, none of you guys ever have to uh, experience this because it's expensive. And uh, honestly, I'd rather just service your bike than I would repair it. But hey, stuff happens. And uh, you know, maybe you bought a used bike. I guess what this one was, a used bike that just didn't get properly maintained and it has to happen. But for those needs, we're here and we can do it and we'll get it done for you. Hey everybody, uh, Ironhead Josh here. Um, we're gonna finish up this segment segment here today. Uh, Toby's gotta get out of here and go help everybody down at Three Rivers Festival and I'm not gonna be in tomorrow. So uh, we're just gonna give you the rundown here of our belt replacement uh, job that we did, showing you guys what was going on. Um, we got the primary bolted back on, we bolting the footboards up and we're getting ready to take it on a test ride. But just a couple things and a reminder out there to you guys. Check belt deflection. Every time you maintenance your motorcycle, every 5,000 miles, it'll save you a lot. You will hear people say that, oh, converting to a chain is cheaper. It is the first time, but you're going to have to do it again in about 20,000 miles and every 20,000 miles there afterwards. So remember, belts last forever when maintained properly. Um, good idea to always follow your service manual if you're doing it yourself. And making sure that your aftermarket shop you're taking it to is doing a full, thorough job. Remember, the guy changing, charging you 25 bucks to service your motorcycle probably isn't doing much more than changing your oil. So get your bike serviced by people who know what they're doing, who are going to do a full service on your bike. There's a lot more to it than just changing oil. Uh, here's a good example. This is a, almost a $1,500 job on something that never had to be done. So take it from me. I've done a few of them. It's a huge job, and you probably don't want to do it by yourself. So have a good weekend. Get out, enjoy the Three Rivers Festival. Come say hi to our folks down there. Check out what they got and uh, be safe.